So we're going to talk about a condition called PCOS or PCOD, it's the same thing, uh, polycystic ovarian syndrome or disorder, okay? Now we're going to talk about the cause and effect. If you look this up, you're not going to find a lot of um, causes. It's always going to say unknown, it's related to insulin resistance, it's high energens, blah, blah, blah. But let's take a look at what is the cause and the root cause. Um, the reason why it's hard to find out about this is just because of how it's named. Poly means many, cystic means cyst. In reality, PCOS is not really cyst, it's follicles, which follicles are eggs released by the ovary. So in other words, the ovary is producing too many follicles. So what happens, this should be really named polyfollicular ovarian syndrome, but it's not. But here's the relationship. There's a little sac around this egg um, that makes androgens. And in the body, what's normally supposed to happen, and these androgens, androgens are supposed to be converted into estrogen, okay, by an enzyme. And what happens, if this enzyme is blocked in any shape or form, you're going to get a buildup of androgens. So this entire kind of uh, pathway gets blocked. It's kind of like... Um, a chain of events that are supposed to occur and if you block this chain right here everything kind of backs up so it's like you're constipated because your your uh, colon is blocked you're going to back up through the plumbing and to the liver well this is what happens high antigens come from the block of that enzyme and if you look up um, things that block this enzyme and if there's any medical doctors or physicians the name of this enzyme is called aromatase cytochrome p450 which basically also helps you detoxify toxic chemicals in the liver. So this specific chemical blocks the enzyme and causes high antigens. This chemical, glyphosate, is an herbicide. It's made by Monsanto, and it's another name for them is called Roundup. And it's in a lot of the GMO foods. So if you want more data on that, watch my GMO video. But this chemical, which is in so many foods, not just uh, plant-based, but also animal-based, because the animals are fed this GMO food, you're getting exposed to a lot of this chemical right here, which will block this thing up and spike the energy. Not to mention that it also acts like an estrogen in the body too. So you could have like a, a problem with estrogen and androgens, and that's why this has also been linked to tumors, okay, um, in different parts of your body, including your thyroid. So you can have all these mixed things. You can have acne, uh, receding hair, uh, facial hair, uh, a little goiter, a little nodule in your thyroid, and you can have a mixed situation from these chemicals that are kind of um, hidden in the background. So PCOS is high antigens. This is one cause, a backup of antigens because this is not converting because something is blocking it. Uh, another cause would be um, high insulin from eating too much sugar and then it's triggering a higher level of what's called IGF. Um, here's another video I did on blood sugars. You can watch that. But basically, IGF is called insulin-like growth factor, which is a hormone made by the liver that helps you regulate sugars when you're not eating. So insulin regulates sugars when you're eating. This regulates sugars when you're not eating. And so when you have too much insulin, you're going to have a spike of this. And this is the one that converts to androgens, okay? So that's cause number two. Cause number three is not only does the ovary make androgen, some, in a female, but the adrenal also makes androgen too. So an overactive adrenal will produce more androgens from stress, and that's another source. So simply speaking, we have an excess of stress, an excess of sugar, and GMO chemical foods is the root cause of this. Now it makes a lot of sense because we're looking at it from the most obvious standpoint, not some mysterious unknown cause. So hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one.